Do you wish to create this zooming and panning effect on still images from your camera? Let's see how it is done. So, uh, firstly, I have taken here a very high definition image from Google. So, you can find any image of your choice and place it on the slide. I am adjusting it a bit. I uh, will uh, zoom out of the PowerPoint so that I have an outline of the entire slide with me. If you have noticed in the effect, the image moves from one side to another. So I need to get the image out of the slide a bit so that after it has moved, there is no white screen that is left on the on my screen. So I don't want the white slide to show. That is why I am making it reach a bit out of the screen like this. So now I'll go to animations. Uh, drop down, I'm choosing more motion paths. Here is the list of all the options uh, for me. Um, I need the left or the right motion paths for my required effect. So if I click on right, you can see the image is moving towards the mountains and the path and not the lake. So if I want them to go towards the lake, I need to choose the left effect. So I click OK. And I go to animations and click on preview. Here it is. But as you can see, there is some white space that is left. So how do I cover that? I reposition my image on the slide and I adjust it in a way that even if it moves, I do not have any white space left. So I can just drag and drop and then preview. So you can adjust this, uh, the length of the arrow and drag and drop the image till you are satisfied. This looks fine. This is the arrow which I had adjusted. Now, I also want that uh, in addition to the image moving towards side, it should also zoom in towards the lake. So for this, I'll add another effect. I go to animations, add animation and I choose grow or shrink. This is the desired effect. So, not, but it's happening very fast. So I go to the option drop down and I go to timing. Uh, in this, if I go to the first tab, um, I can see that the zoom percent is very high. It's 150 percent. I don't want it to zoom so fast and so close. So I'm making it, let's say, 120 percent. And I click OK. Then I go to timing. And in timing, I want it to be for a duration of, let's say, 10 seconds. So here are a lot of options, but I'm typing manually. 0, 0, colon. 1, 0 for the seconds. If you want it to be minute, then you have to be 0, 1, colon, 0, 0. And then you can choose according to your wish. Once you are happy with the adjustment, only one thing remains. That is linking the next effect to the previous effect. So I go to the drop down and I make it start with previous. So now if I go to slideshow and see it together, both the effects are happening at the same time as you can see.